Right, this is my second art assignment. If you want to know more about the art assignment, I'll put it down in the toolbar and you can go and take a look. The uh, second art assignment was to put a foreign object out in public and watch it and see how people interact with it. And I thought, well, something that people interact with, it has to be something interesting they can maybe take and carry away. And the best thing to leave out is always a book, because when I see books, that's what I want to do is pick, pick them up and carry them away. Um, and I had a bag of books I was going to take to the charity shop. So I picked one of those. It was um, a Monty Python autobiography. And I thought I'd leave it. I have, there's a big castle in my hometown. And lots of people walk past it. Um, they filmed Doctor Who there. And I thought I'd leave it on the one bench where I feed the ducks. And I'd go up to a higher point and watch people from there. And sort of watch them sort of take notes and that. And... People don't, there's not many people there in the morning really. The, some people walk past with their kids because it's half term. A lady walked past with her little girl and the little girl went to pick it up but her mum stopped her because you know kids are like they get curious about things and adults want to leave things there. And a while after that there was a man, mainly people just sort of walking past because I think people just sort of unless they're sitting down they sort of pay the glance but they don't really pay attention to it. A uh, man walked past with his dog, and his dog wasn't on a lead, so his dog sort of went to smell it, but he sort of brought him back. Um, lots of people sort of walking past that time in the morning. People are busy, people are going to work, and people are walking their dog, so they're not really sort of bothered. Then when it got sort of busier before lunchtime, there were two older ladies with their dogs, and they saw the book, and you know, it's like when older people think, that someone's lost, they saw a couple of people walking past and they asked if anyone had left it there. Then there was quiet down a bit and there was a sort of middle aged couple, they looked like tourists, a lot of people come to see the castle. And they sort of paid it a second glance and sort of went to look at it, but they didn't really, um, they didn't, I thought they'd pick it up. Um, I don't know why anyone wasn't picking it up at this point. But then this is so busy, I suppose you assume someone's coming back to get it or something like that. And then it got a bit cold and a bit rainy, and it was lunchtime. <laughs> so I ran the risk of kind of leaving it for a while. And when I got lunch, and I came back and I sort of walked past it to make sure it was still there, and walked up round the corner to the back. And then a lot of people walked past it for quite a while. It's quite cold today, so there weren't that many people out. Um, so later in the evening there was a guy walking home with, I mean mainly people just sort of glanced at it but walked past. There was one guy in a high vis jacket I remember walked past and he sort of looked at it. He was kind of off in his own world on his iPod but he sort of looked at it for a bit. You know when you sort of look and you look around but he didn't really sort of go for it. Um, the thing is I couldn't really see because the bench was sort of blocking off. I think so if people, I couldn't, people could have been looking at anything, but I think people were looking at the books. I'd like kind of left it face up. And then this went off right and it was getting colder and darker, which wasn't much fun. And in the end, there was sort of it emptied out a bit and a guy walked past who was kind of, um, it's hard to tell from a distance, but you can kind of tell if people aren't, like with the tourists before, you can sort of tell if people are a different nationality because of the way they sort of hold themselves. And he had like a sort of suit jacket and that, so I'm not sure if he was, I think he was kind of, he looked like the kind of person who could be researching the castle, kind of a bookish person with glasses and sort of, he was like middle-aged, sort of short brown hair. And he kind of, he had that kind of research and book look about him and he came past and at this time because there's a white cover on the front of the book so it must have been reflecting the light a bit so he it caught his eye and there was no one around at this time so he kind of went up and had a poke and then he had a look round and by this time I mean it's getting late there was clearly no one around or someone coming back for it and I wasn't sure because it's kind of hard to tell from this angle because it's like a tree and a bench in the way and I think he picked it up and then I went down and it was gone. And this is the book in question. And you may wonder why I still have the book. And it's because I just made all of that up. Because I decided not to do this art assignment, but sort of do it anyway. 
I had this idea last night, when I saw the Arthur Simon video I thought, oh this is a great idea because um, I look at people all the time and how they interact with things and I thought, oh I'll put out a book and um, lots of other people going online, oh yeah I could do this and have a look at things and there was something sort of in the pit of my stomach that was a bit like, oh I'm a bit uncomfortable with this, oh it's probably, you know, just a bit kind of scary, you know, strangers and sitting outside for a while and then I, um, I, it was just, it just didn't, didn't fit right. And I woke up this morning and I thought, I, I don't like this. For a couple of reasons. I used to, um, I worked in a shop. And we used to have to look out for shoplifters. There's something very, it's not nice, waiting for someone to take something. And there was another thing one time, I was on a train. I'd gone on the train and sat down and there was a copy of Frankenstein, old back of copy of Frankenstein on this table. And I had to look at it, there was no one around. I was like, oh, buck. It was a bit battered. And this guy was staring at me from the opposite side of the train. I thought, what is he looking at? And in the end, I thought, well, I'm just going to leave that book here for a while, see what happens. And this girl came back from the loose. And she hadn't left any mark, any trace of herself, no coat or anything. And she sat there and started reading the book. And I realised that bloke on the other side of the train had been watching me, waiting for me to take it, waiting for me to get in trouble. And that really pissed me off. <laughs> and when, you know, I saw the Art Simon video yesterday, my immediate thing was, oh, that's great, you know, there's great stories I have about finding things, you know, down at the castle when I was a kid, we actually saw two full sets of clothes, uh, man's clothes and woman's clothes, left by the side of the moat by the castle. I don't know if they went skinny dipping, I don't know what happened. But when I thought about the castle and the book, I thought, oh, this is a great idea. But the more I thought about it, the more I didn't like it. Now this is not to say what Deb does isn't interesting. I think it is very cool and interesting. But this idea of um, laying in wait for someone to see what they do... I mean, I'm a very brave person, but I didn't like the idea of sitting in wait hoping someone would take something. I didn't like the idea of staring at people, kind of making them, uh, you know, characters in my head for my benefit. I mean, you do that all the time, but not intentionally. And then I thought about the idea of filming them, and of course we don't have to film, we could draw people in that. But I thought, you know, I don't even like to sketch people when they're not looking. Uh, it's because I like people to tell me if they're filming me or taking my picture or drawing me or whatever. And I didn't, you know, you treat others as you want to be treated. And it just all felt very uncomfortable. Now you could say in a way that I sort of wimped out. It's like she didn't want to sit outside, she didn't want to sit cold, she didn't want to interact with strangers. But the thing is, I do sit out a lot and watch people. Because for a long time I was taking pinhole photos of the castle. And I was the mad woman with a blue box. You see what I did there? This is one of my pinhole cameras. And I spent a lot of time sitting around the castle for like, sometimes like 40 minutes being watched by the public, like just holding a biscuit tin. And you get quite sick of sitting out in the cold watching people give you weird looks. Now I know what does it matter if people think you're weird. I obviously didn't because I sat up there a lot. Now I know what you're thinking, I could have just not done this at all. You have to say, but then I think Sarah's trying to teach us something and it's not just about an art product, it's not just about a painting or a thing. I've always thought about art as experiences and I think Sarah's trying to teach us that. Art is experience and how you react to things and your thoughts on it. And my thoughts when I thought about going down the castle was that how would I relay this back? And I thought well, I could tell a story because that's what I can do is tell stories. And in case you think I've been leading you along, all those people I told you about they do exist, and they pass by the castle every day. You go down there and you can see them. The the last guy, he exists, but he's not from around here. I kind of imported him for entertainment purposes. So that is my art assignment. You might not like it. You might like it. I might have disappointed you, but I don't think... Um, I don't think maybe Deb and Sarah and John would be happy with this idea of me going to do something that I was particularly unhappy with just to what pleased them. I think they'd be happier knowing I went off and did something that sort of pleased me.
And that's my art assignment.